So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create the repulsor ray weapon in our Minecraft Mark 42 Armaments command here in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. But before we start, before we get right into the video, you know the drill. Always give a like if you do like this video. Also hit the subscribe button right now down below. Slap the bell icon and always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff. But now without any further ado, let's go right to it and let's get started. Hey what is up there everybody, it's Hero here and today I'm gonna show you guys how to create the repulsor ray weapon here in our Mark 42 command block in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to grab our own command blocks and we don't need to actually show you guys all these commands but I'm really just gonna show you the repulsor ray part which is this one command block which is the uh, scoreboard command and this one is just the flight command so we don't need that one okay. We only need this one long command, like a tower of command. So this is our repulsor ray command. Other than the tagging command, this command block is very important. This slash scoreboard objectives, which is actually gonna limit the power or limit the range of our repulsor ray. So we're gonna need that to, um, you know, prevent the lagging and prevent any crashes. All right, enable to activate this power. All you need is grab any kind of items in your inventory. Mine, I'm gonna uh, use the snowball actually. So all you need is go find an anvil and rename the snowball or rename any item that you're choosing and I actually have to rename it Ray with a capital letter. So all to do is just separate these items or separate the item because we only need one shot or one item at a time just like this. So it's gonna be like an ammo okay. So we're gonna put this right in here and put the others in here. But let me remind you something this command won't work if you don't do the tagging and the objectives command which is very important okay. So all to do is drop the item and as you can see that's the repulsor ray so I didn't put it like that much speed on it so we can see the power or the effects so yeah. It actually have a knockback effect so let's use the scraper once again. So let me drop the item all to do is just long press the item if you're at the mobile devices so all to do is just like that. It has a knockback uh, power effects and it also have a weather effects damage. So let me grab like something else. Alright, how about this hag lens, okay? Let's use this hag lens. So, let me drop one hag lens. Oh, this is actually pretty cute. So, all to do is... Bro, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up that part. I actually just point right downwards. So, let me face it like to the equal total level. And just like that, it got pushed away. Alright, this time, let's try an iron golem. So, we have here a 900 pounds iron golem. So, we're gonna try to shoot... These are going using our repulsor ray and as you can see our repulsor ray can gain any heavy mobs or any large mobs here at the minecraft world. And as you can notice our, our repulsor ray command has actually a limited range um, shoot time which actually we, we put our objectives dummy to our command which we've seen earlier. And yeah it actually has a limited range so we actually put that on purpose enable to you know prevent any lag and crash in your own world. And as you can see, our iron golem is actually crashing right now. So let's try to shoot it with our ray one more time. And boom, as you can see, it actually just gonna go right through the walls. And yeah, lucky for him, there's actually a limited range for our um, repulsor ray. But it actually just gonna die for, you know, suffocation. Without any further ado everybody, let's go right to it and let's get started on our command box. So just like I mentioned earlier, if you don't know how to get your own command box, just gonna do slash give at a command underscore block and you're gonna have to receive your own command box right in your inventory, okay? And even though we see a really large piling of command box right in there, which is our repulsive break command, we still need to do the tagging command and for the objectives command. As you can see, this is actually like 19 command box. Plus this D command box or actually equals to 21 command box. I, I'm not pretty sure. So this part is just the scoreboard command. So we're gonna do slash scoreboard objectives at shoot time dummy. So we're gonna need that, okay? So we're gonna put repeat actual and need rest on. And I am sorry, actually we don't need the tagging command since we already built in a tagging command in this repulsor array. So we're gonna put repeat actual and need rest on. And put execute at e type cause item, comma name equals right, treat the tag at e add Tony. So we're gonna put like Tony Stark name in it, okay? Now this one is execute at a tag called Tony called Sprocket Turtle Simon Armor Underscore Stand, which we rename it Ray and Space Tree Tilda. So put it to chain and control and always active. 
and the sport is executed at a tie cost Tony close bracket 3 arrow TP at e name cost ready counter radius of 2 3 arrow 1.5 facing at B. So I'm gonna put it to like chain uncrucial and always active. So basically all of them are chain uncrucial and always active. When the command block is chain, it's also an always active. Kill at the type plus item name equals ray and still the same build in. And this part is for like actually the execute TP at S which gonna carry all maps, any heavy maps or any kind of, of like weighted maps can actually carry by the repulsor ray due to the strong force. And still the same build in, okay? And this part is execute at A. So this part is a particle. It's actually have five command boxes. This is the same command. And this part I'm gonna put N run and three arrow and one. Then I two arrow with a space put one and space arrow. Still the same built in. And this part is still the same command. But as you can see to record the for the last um, command, we see one and we put negative 0.2 at this time. So overall, there's actually five the same command box but different coordinates. And as you can see, this one is negative 0.4. And for our next one is um, <clears throat> still the same actually, but the uh, coordinates is 0.2. This part we're gonna put a uh, positive part. So as we already put the two negative part, we're gonna put the two positive part. And this one might be the last of the end run. So we're gonna put 0.4 and yeah, it's still positive. So we're gonna put that part, okay, it's very important. Well, this command is execute at e name equals right, 3 arrow tp at e type because um, exclamation armor underscore stand, comma to radius 1.5, then at s. So it's very important. So we're gonna put it like to train uncle and always active. And this part is gonna carry all the armor stand except for the armor stand. It's gonna carry all the radius or all the maps at the radius of 1.5. And let's go right in this part. We're gonna put execute at e name equals right, 3 arrow effect at e the radius of 1 type equals exclamation armor underscore stand close bracket with their space 1, space 1, space 2 which gives the particle or I mean the effects or the damage effects for all the maps that have been carried on. So we put effect at e name cause right invisibility so we're gonna see the armor stand because it's actually made up of armor stand. The repulsor ray is made up of armor stand so we're gonna put invis invisibility we don't need to get seen okay. And this one is actually the limited time interface so we put kill at e name cause right underscore scores shoot time 101 which we put to our objectives okay it's very important so you put your own okay so you can actually just extend the number like 101 to 200 slash scoreboard players add at e name equals ray shoot time uh, space then one and we're moving on in this part we get which actually we pre execute at the name equals ray close bracket triple kill at the type equals armor underscore stand radius of three type equals tony so you're just gonna kill any maps to the radius of three except you and the armor stand since we tag ourselves in tony so we're gonna remove the tag tag at the remove tony chain uncontrol and always active and this part gonna be the exit at the name equals ray uh, 2 tilde 5 tilde play sound beacon point deactivate at a3 tilde without space put 6 spaced in 0.6 chain actual and always active actually it's 0.3 sorry so you put this one is still the same but the coordinate is we put 2 since we put 0.3 at that time we're gonna put 2 okay and yeah basically that would be it for the command and yeah it's pretty long but it's pretty easy to put in it just flick the scoreboard on just one more time and you're gonna have to uh, leave that one flick turn on and just put, get your own item so you can actually choose any kind of items to use as a repulsor right for example we use um let me see what we got here we use this nether stars so you put go right into the anvil and rename it into ray capital letter first and then put um small letter a y and ray and you're gonna have to um shoot the items just like this just drop it and able to shoot it just uh let me see what we have here what we have here let me do it like this and as you can see it can actually just use any kind of item to create a repulsor ray i'm not really sure but it looks like in this part the repulsor ray got invisible when we see the vision right to the background of the eyes but now it's very really easy overall it's just uh pretty easy we can even use this haggling um spawn egg to create the ray which which is put wrong and get to like shoot it just like this and boom here we go so you can actually just use this as a repulsor ray but now guys i think that will be it for a video today i hope you enjoyed and yeah
pretty much all thank you for watching and if you like this video always give a like this video hit subscribe button and slap that notification bell icon always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff unless me turn the uh, lever off but now guys follow me at facebook follow me at twitter and also my tiktok account but now guys thank you for watching love you all peace out bye bye i'm gonna see you in our next command log video and yeah but now, peace out bye bye Today I'm going to show you guys how to create the Iron Man's Mark 42 command block here in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So this is going to be the official and last video about a Mark 42 command block here in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, okay? But before we start, before we get right into our video, you know the drill, give a like in this video. If you do like this video, also hit subscribe button right now down below and slap the notification bell icon and always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff, okay? But you know how, let's go right into it and let's get started. Alright, so there are a lot of parts in Iron Man command box. But first, I'm going to show you guys the cool suit command, which actually the official cool suit command, which actually we're going to use a remote enabled to automatically suit up in this Iron Man command box. So we have your armor 1, armor 2, armor 3, armor 4, which we use to spawn, or which we use command box to spawn there. And the next thing we do is we're gonna sweep them up using all this variety of command block depends on what command you put on it. So I actually put mine iron helmet and golden chest plate right in this command blocks. And we're gonna use this separate command enable to um, make the armor stand right in there invisible because we don't want them to be visible or to be seen. And I mean look at this, we put them invisible and it is much more better with the armor stand being seen. Alright, so the basic thing to do is we need this tagging command, which is actually the main reason why all this command block work. So we're gonna have to tag ourselves and add into Tony Stark, so we're gonna put Tony on it, okay? Repeat on shell and it resonates up a lever and click it just once, you know, just once. And this is the first command of the suit up command, which we use the remote suit up to test for at the type of item equals call underscore suit, which will actually rename any kind of item into call underscore suit. For example, we grab here. E polish black i block stone button and we actually rename it using an anvil into e call underscore suit and once you drop it or once you use it it automatically um call the armor right into you and you're gonna do like automatic wear up which is pretty dope actually so we're gonna flick this command and we have your arrest thank you partner and this one is a tree um command block file app and this redstone i mean this repeater command we can execute at the tab cost armor underscore stand turtle tp at 3 hours 0.5 facing tag at a tony repeat actual and need redstone okay and this one is the particle which we use knockback underscore roll underscore particle to the armor stand so the commands are pretty long so don't worry about it i'm gonna have to put a link in the description where we repeat all the commands so you can copy paste it okay and this one is an, another particle which we use small flame underscore single since we used a knockback underscore or particle from the last time, okay? We put it to chain anchor shell and always active this time. And I want to add some one particle which we use to uh, destroy, I mean the dragon destroy underscore black which is very useful actually. It makes things much more realistic. So we're going to put execute at the tab because I'm underscore stand, trade the particle minecraft. I'm going to put this dragon underscore destroy underscore block and space then tree tilde. And don't forget the two at the middle of the coordinates and put it to chain anchor shell and always active, okay? 
all right let's move into the anarch command so this one we're gonna have to flick this thing first on all of this so there are actually four types of it which are actually the helmet chest um legs and lastly the feet so i'm gonna have to showcase first before i'm gonna show you the commands in that four um separate command which are actually pretty useful for this goal suit command so i'm gonna do first i'm gonna put myself to the third person view and i'm gonna have to drop the button which we rename into call suit so you can actually use any kind of items and rename it into call suit and here we go let me drop and as you can see the armor stand are coming right into you with all those particle effects and boom automatic wear up okay it's cool not gonna lie but it's pretty laggy too to be honest if you have a potato phone you're gonna be pretty laggy especially if you twist or gonna do a low mistake in the command it make things very laggy all right since i already showcased the cold suit remote command block part so i'm gonna have to show you guys this command block or this part of the command which you use for the helmet chest um legs and the feet okay and for our helmet is we have your your p actual and the redstone and we have your execute at e name cost armor one three test uh three solid test for at a tie cost 20 comma to the radius of 0.5 so especially you have to remember remember the armor one part okay the armor one part is actually pretty useful because when you see the other part is actually armor two armor three and armor four and this repeating command you're gonna put execute at the tie cost 20 which actually gonna kill the armor stand every time it go near into you or every time or after the automatic um automatic wear up you're actually gonna kill the armor stand that came near to you and i'm gonna put a resin torch in this so you have to remember this is very important okay to a resin torch to the side or behind that command and i'm gonna put like command block in this top which is actually gonna use the iron underscore helmet so yeah don't worry about that because i'm gonna show you the um command later to the link in the description okay and this part is as you can see we put armor 2 in this part and this for our 8 tag was 22 radius of 0 0.5 and this part is the same from the other part which actually just gonna kill the armor stand whenever it came near into you and this part is as you can see it's not ahead anymore we put slot point armor on point chest zero golden underscore chest plate so it's very specific okay so you better make sure to make things specific and this part is execute at e name calls armor three so it's armor three three to let this part at a tag of standard radius of 0 0.5 once again resin comparator and this part is the same command block which is gonna kill the armor stand whenever it came near into you or after the wear up so yeah basically be functional and need rest on this part as you can see we put iron helmet and chest and this part we put slot point armor point legs zero iron underscore leggings okay so you can use any kind of armor so i put mine like the same to the mark 42 right to the movie of iron man 4 <laughs> i'm sorry it's iron man 3 Bruh. so execute at a name cause armor 4 turtle that so yeah blah 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 it's armor 4 in that part and this part is still the same blah 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 and let's move on directly and this part is very important Flat point armor point feet zero golden underscore boots so as you can see it's different from the other three so yeah impose functional and need rest on and our invisibility command is the basic of all basic command effect at the type cost armor underscore stand close bracket invisibility space one space one space two um chain uncontrolled i mean repeat actual and need rest on so let me put a lever in that part okay and also this part so let me rename this command so we're gonna use it for the repulsor ray okay we're gonna rename it into repulsor and uh, space ray and uh, yeah so this is the repulsor ray so first we're gonna do the scoreboard command enable to make things to make the objectives we put add shoot time dummy so you're gonna limit the range of the command block or it's gonna limit the range of the repulsor ray which um remove the lag or to prevent any lag on everything okay but first let me come back in here i never show you the command and this is how to zoom in all these armor stands so yeah it's pretty little basic super basic simon armor underscore stand armor one which is gonna remain the armor stand two tilde one tilde and this two part is gonna put armor two two tilde one tilde and this part is armor three two tilde one tilde and lastly is the armor four two tilde one tilde pretty easy right i mean everyone can do this if you um actually just put a repeater in the part a redstone and also a lever to just one flick command and everything will zoom in all right back to the repulsor ray command so i already show you the scoreboard so you have to flick it like flick it just once okay and we have your repulsor ray now let me flick this one up and that one is probably just a glitch so yeah all right so this command is pretty tricky and i'm gonna use 
uh, item so we're gonna use a rename item and able to activate this one for example we use this uh snowball so we use a snowball and rename it using an anvil into ray so capital letter r then small letter a y and ray so let's separate it in our inventory since we only need one shoot at a time since this is like some sort of bullet so as you can see if i drop it and that is the repulsor ray which you can actually see the armor stand for a second in there but the cool part of this repulsor ray is the knockback effects the knockback effects actually gonna knock the uh, mobs or the target right with the repulsor ray and gonna give a real big damage like a weather effects which we use in there as you can see if i do this you can actually carry multiple mobs at a time as long as it is at the perfect range and a perfect aim which is actually pretty cool and dope as you can see this so yeah that's it for our repulsor ray so all to do is dr drop the item it doesn't matter what kind of how you drop it as you can see it actually keeps shooting the repulsor ray to the surroundings so yeah basically all you have to do is drop and there you go that is the repulsor ray and it's not that hard to use all right so let's go right into the command so the command is pretty long i don't know how many it is it's possibly be at like 19 commands so yeah all right so let me use a sword so we don't want to break any parts of this command so first we have your execute at e type cause item name cause ray close bracket three to the tag at a add tony put it to p actual and in red zone and this part is gonna summon the armor underscore stand which we rename into ray put it to chain uncrucial and always active and this part is gonna tp or gonna summon the armor stand right to you 1.5 facing right to the add people or the added person and gonna kill the item name equals ray so don't worry if you don't get catch up because i'm just gonna put the link in the description which is all the commands and this one is gonna tp the ray right into the target which is a multiple like armor stand get zoom in that one so this was is gonna execute name equals ray we're gonna give a particle and run then three arrow two arrow one space then one arrow so basically this one actually have five types of commands so as you can see it actually have the same commands but different coordinates so check out the coordinates so this time we put 1 and negative 0.2 and this part is we have here 1 and negative 0.4 so they, they are all still the same commands but different coordinates because we're just going to put particle net and this part is 0.2 and to the next one is 0.4 as you can see it still have the same command but different coordinate and this part is going to execute name equals right to rotp at e type cause armor underscore stand to register 1.5 then close bracket at s and this part is going to put wait this part gonna put the weather effects which you're gonna put to the armor stand is gonna kill all the maps when every every time it got hit by repulsor ray gonna give them a weather effects which leads them to their death overall it's pretty simple the logic behind the repulsor ray and this part you're gonna make the armor stand or which we rename the ray into invisibility and that part has different one this one is gonna limit the power shoot time of the array so you're gonna kill name ray scores and shoot time 101 close bracket and yeah basically this part is gonna put the scoreboard players add at the name cause ray shoot time space one which actually gonna limit the range of our pulse array and this part is pretty long so you're gonna put execute at the name cause ray to the kill at the type cause armor underscore stand which actually gonna give the limit so blah 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 and everything has the same reason in it I got the remove Tony and put the play sound beacon point at the activate at A. It's just the sound whenever we um use the pulse array, you're gonna give a sound like boom, just like that, like some sort of alien sound. Okay, and this part is still the same for the sound but different coordinate. We put three to the six and space two. So, yeah, basically, it's pretty simple. And if you didn't get most of the commands, I know you guys didn't get most of the commands because they actually make it fast because it's pretty long commands and there's still a lot of commands. I don't want to make the video pretty long. There's actually a link in the description where we put our commands so you can copy paste it. Alright, so let's go right move into the landing and the launch effects of our Mark 42 command. So in our flight command, we're gonna need a wooden sword and a leather boot. So it doesn't actually matter what kind of sword and what kind of boot. So for me, I'm just gonna like want to do it like leather boots. And this one is gonna enchant you to the feather falling. So that actually the landing mode so let's go to the launch system of our command okay so first that is the landing let's go to the launch or do the flight effects so you put in chat at a tag was tony sharpness one so let me rename it into launch and fly launch fly <laughs> so we're gonna put it to launch fly just like that okay so basically what we're gonna do is um we're gonna put the command which we're gonna put in chat at a sharpness tag was tony and this one is feather falling so it's still the same one 
but before i'm going to show you guys the command let me show you how to use all this so far so we have here our um command box and as you can see this is our armor so let me show you my armor to the front perspective view and here you go so yeah this is our armor this is the mark 42 armor and this is our also ray which is pretty dope which is the basic um weapons of iron man and next up is we have here our flight mode and launch system so many of you asked me to do the mayfly command so yeah it's actually mayfly command but i like this one more because it actually have a boost effects which actually gonna give much more speed in times of flight so you can't control the um like horizontal mode in doing this flight but actually pretty cool for the launch system and for the flight system so as you can see you can control it by switching two tools at a time which is the wooden sword and the boots so yeah pretty much more it's epic i just put like a normal effects or a normal particle net which is the mob flame i don't want to add any much more effects so yeah so it's gonna make like super like like super scuff and super stretchy and our back perspective view as you can see is pretty normal and yeah so you put the launch system the particle may be a little annoying it depends on you if you want to remove it you can actually just remove the particle effects of the knockback in times of landing and there you go all right so let's go right into our commands okay we all right so let's move into our commands all right let's turn them off first and there we go so this is the landing and i don't know but we're gonna do for our launch fly first so we have your in chat at a tag goes on the sharpness one once again so this is gonna put it to repeat optional and need redstone so we're gonna hold the sword and able to activate the one and we put resting to the right to the right to the right side and this one is the email file app so we're gonna give you a fake at the limitation to the tag since you are being tagged as tony repeat optional and need redstone and this part is execute at the tag as tony Try to particle Minecraft Mob Flame underscore single, which is the fire effects. And yeah, basically if you flick this one on, hold the sword, you you can fly. Just like that. You give you levitation effect and you can fly. Very simple. Very normal. Okay? Nothing nothing special, nothing more. So this part is gonna be a resistant torch. And this part is a resistant uh, part to the right to the uh, next side of the torch. And this one is an impulse command. We get the effect at a tag goes Tony clear. We're just gonna clear all the effects so we can land or we can take all the effects every time we you know don't want to use the launch system as this part gonna put enchant at the tackle stony filter underscore falling space one repeat actual and need reston and this one is erasing team partner and we have your effect at the tackle stony slow underscore falling space one space one space two and this one is the execute at a tackle stony two till the negative two till the particle minecraft neck back underscore roar underscore particle chain and crucial and always active every time we try to land and take off the flight system but overall everything has been on set so let me take our turn of that one command and let's move on to one of the strongest weapon that we only had which is the heat seeking missile here in our iron man mark 42 suit and this part is actually gonna give you a real heat seeking missile here in minecraft very real so what we're gonna do is gonna get your spawn eggs and able to um activate the power so i'm gonna put or i mean activate the weapon so i'm gonna put the spawn egg you can you may choose any kind of mobs it's a spawn's egg, so let me use the blaze in this time. So I want to do like the gust, no? Or we can just use the blaze, okay? So what we're gonna do is go right in an inventory and rename this spawn egg into missile. Very simple, just missile. So I don't want to put hit seeking missile stuff where the very specific is. It might take a very long time to write it. So you put missile in it, and what I shall do is um spawn the missile. And I'm gonna hit seek or gonna find its own target as long as it can find its own target It won't be gonna rest. It's gonna be very restless as long as it finds its target as you can see You wanna seek or gonna find any target he can find is nearby to kill it And the missile won't be despawned or won't be vanished as long as it finds its own target So it doesn't matter what kind of mobs or what kind of target as long as it kills somebody before it disappear and it can rest in peace That actually how the um so that actually how the um hit seeking missile though there's a problem in the hit seeking missile system so actually as you can see if i put them to different position and get a like kill one mob it's gonna kill all the mobs and sometimes it won't gonna just gonna die but knock back rock right to a different direction and try to find another target so let me spawn a lot of them so we actually have like four i guess 
and as you can see all of them just go right into the ship and kill it so we have two remaining missile and boom four ship two missile at one ship very poor uh wait there's still another one wait there's still another one so let me spawn this one and let's see who killed it oh there's still one we have one last one and let, let's, let's give it a target so you can rest in peace and there we have it so that is our hit second missile pretty simple and pretty easy to do basically the command is very short the first command which are I, which i actually do in this one is pretty much more long and i want to do like enhance it to make it short as you can see to execute at the name cost missile dp 0.3 facing tag tony type cost item name cost missile radius of 999 c equals one as you can see i put exclamation mark before tony and the item and the missile so it won't gonna affect or it won't gonna target me so put execute at the name cost missile turtle dp to the 0.5 so it's very important to put like to the 0.5 or 0.3 I'm just about to put execute at a name called missile particle which is the particle effects okay so dragon underscore destroy and block and this part is the mob flames uh, single particle and put two tilde then two then without space to another tilde okay and chain actual and always active and this part is the another invisibility effect for the um mobs which we were named to missile and yeah we have your resin comparator and four resin repeater you can add like one more repeater like five resin repeater before we put this or before we input this command so take a screenshot this command is pretty long i'm not gonna say it but I'm gonna zoom in and enter crystal whenever it find its target to make it explode like boom so i'm just gonna make it short okay i'm just gonna make it short just pretty long command i would say that and post uncrystal and the redstone so yeah probably that would be it for our mark 42 so we only have like like three types of system or four types of system which is the full suit the arm um, repulse ray the flight system and the hit seeking missile but anyhow guys thank you for watching this video hope you enjoy and if you do like the video give a like subscribe and slap that notification bell you can always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff okay and if you do enjoy it follow me at facebook follow my twitter my tiktok and my other youtube channel you know guys thank you for watching love you all peace out bye, -bye. i'm gonna see you next time this video is way too long for me i would say that honestly it's 20 minutes but you guys thank you for watching bye bye and see you next time okay peace out what is up there everybody welcome back to another youtube video it's hero here and today i'm going to show you guys how to do this minecraft command block which is the explosive jump punch here in minecraft bedrock edition but before start or before we get right into the video you know the drill give a like this video if you do like this video also hit the subscribe button right now down below and slap that notification bell icon and always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff but now guys let's go right to it and let's get started Alright, just like you see in the thumbnail and in the title, we're gonna do the explosive jump punch here in Minecraft Bedrock. So basically what we're gonna do is this kind of item. So the item is just random and you can just choose any kind of items in your inventory. Just like this and or like this. So you can just rename it using the anvil. For example, we choose this feather and what we actually do to the feather is um, go to the anvil or go to an anvil and rename the feather into jump underscore punch and after that we're gonna have to separate all the items since we only need one item at a time so we're gonna have to separate them like this and all to do is drop the item but first let's put a target which is a pig and drop the rename item and as you can see i got teleported near to the uh, creatures and create a massive explosive punch but before we continue the um showcase let me just remove all this command box and uh, command box feedback so i'm gonna do is do slash game rule and command block output and put it to false and next do it again twice slash game rule and for this i'm gonna do the command box send command feedback and put it to false and now we're done to that let's just continue the showcase all right i'm never gonna show you uh, i haven't shown you anything yet so all you actually do is drop the item and as you can see you get teleported and boom you get actually get blown by your own punch so good thing we have this the slow falling effects formerly five seconds and so do the regeneration effects 
There you go, you get actual teleported and boom, that is your super punch. It's actually gonna blow you away right to the mid air, but you have the my 5 seconds regeneration and the 5 seconds slow falling. So this thing actually teleports you to your target and create the massive explosive punch until your target get killed. So it doesn't actually um, usually works to one punch all the um, sturdy creatures such as iron golems and the ender dragon or any other bosses. So you can actually just one punch them but for this creature you can actually just one punch them. Here you go and boom, ah that's one strong punch. So that strong punch actually uh, repel us right to the mid airs. So that's the reason why I put the slow falling effects. Alright, let's do it again for this task and let me get my item. So this item is just like some sort of ammo. So the item get killed every time you use um, the uh, command block. So if it won't get killed, you're gonna create a lot of massive, like, massive crash in your world. So you better do it. You better follow the commands, okay? So drop the item. As you can see, you get teleported near to it and get punched and blown away. Alright, here we go again, drop the item, and as you can see, get teleported near to it, and get blown away by the punch. And now you see all of that, let's go right into the command. So we have our first command, which is a repeating command. So we need to test for, test for at the name calls jump underscore punch, which is the rename item. So we're gonna put the command to repeat, uncontrol, and need rest on. So as you can see, this is all the item which we renamed to jump punch. So we're gonna test for this item whenever we drop it and it will activate all this chain of command blocks so just like that so that part is actually a recent departure so it's important to be recent departure in that part and able to continue the circulation of the um electricity and this part is we have the impulse command I'm gonna do the execute at p name equals hero over play title tp two arrow two and one arrow so you have to put your own name on it don't follow my name so you're gonna put your own username and this part is a western repeater and we have your redstone particle, which is the knockback underscore or underscore particle. So you put your own name into the execute at the name and put it in post and control and the redstone. Now this part is another chain command. So we actually just would create like a big chain of electricity here. And this part is gonna TP right to do um to the instant phase of two arrow three and without space two arrow. So you're gonna put execute at the name equals zero over play. So you put your own name on it, okay? And this part is another redstone repeater and this part is another minecraft redstone particle so we're gonna put knackback underscore roar underscore particle that command just like the other one and this part is the one of the most important parts so this one is just a redstone repeater and this one is the four um qm block piled up we have your execute at p put your own name on it don't follow mine Triple tp 3 r one facing at the name cause um put apostrophe hero over play comma type cause apostrophe item comma to radius of 88 and comma c equals 1 so the the way i put the apostrophe in it so you won't get actually affected by the commands and also the items and this one is going to give you the regeneration effect so you put your own name on it chain actual and always active and this one is slow falling for five seconds so you're gonna put, you're gonna have to put your own name okay chain actual and always active and this part is the dragon underscore under, uh, destroy underscore block particle so this is the final particle which whenever you create a massive strong punch where you get pulled back to mid-air, that's the final particle that we have. And this part is another impulse command, so if you execute that p name was here above play, so you put your own name, trade the execute at e to raises of 3, trade the human ender underscore crystal, trade the minecraft crystal underscore explode, and there we have it. So that's the secret of the massive strong punch which actually pull you back to mid-air. And this one is a resin torch and we put to the top you another resin which gonna kill the item which we rename into jump underscore punch enable to um evade or enable to stop the lag or the crush of the world you have to prevent that from outer what okay and this is what happen if you're you don't have a target nearby to raise of 88 you're just gonna get like like jumping punch in it so you need the target enable to go near into it so it's like teleporting just like that okay but anyway guys, I think that will be it for our video today. Hope you enjoy and if you like this video, always give it a like, subscribe, and slap the notification bell so you can always be notified every time we upload this such video and stuff. Also follow me at Twitter, follow me on Facebook, and my TikTok account. So if you wanna do or if you have time, feel free. Okay? Thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoy and I'm gonna do another Minecraft Man Black and stay tuned for my live stream. But guys, I think that will be it for our video. Love you all, peace out, bye bye, and see you next time.
Hey what is up there everybody welcome back to another YouTube video it's here right here and today I'm gonna show you guys another Minecraft command log tutorial video but before starting before get right into the video and the drill give a like in this video if you do like this video also hit the subscribe button right now down below and slap that notification bell icon and always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff but now in our today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to create a single target missile or some sort of myself on space here in minecraft bedrock edition and without any further ado let's go into it and let's get started okay all right the first thing we need to do is get some items so it doesn't actually matter what kind of item you're gonna rename using an anvil and rename it into someone enable to activate the commands so i'm gonna pick this lightning rod in here and we can rename it using an anvil as you can see i have our lightning rod in here and get some anvil and rename it into summon here we go and there we go so we're gonna separate this item so, so we only need one item at the time and able to activate the command so let me do this and now that we have it let me flick the command on and we're gonna do next is first let's get a target so this uh, has will be our first target so we're gonna drop the item which we call summon and as you can see there's actually a homing missile or a single target missile that actually gonna target the single mob there we go and instantly killed so it doesn't actually target E because we already programmed that in our command so we only target all the nearby mobs which it has been summoned right to the radius of 100 and as you can see no matter how fast the rabbit run it actually gonna home or actually gonna seek that rabbit and target it instantly and get killed so this this missile have single like the ability to um focus in a single target and instantly kill so i won't get there's actually 100 percent accuracy no miss in this missile and as you can see boom one has got killed so the other has won't get target so you're only gonna get like one single target but this time it's for sure like 100 percent accuracy and no matter where you run this homing missile will actually gonna catch up to you and get you exposed Overall, this command is very easy to do. Alright, let me show you guys what happened if the uh, missile you someone don't have any nearby targets. The actual gonna happen. You're actually gonna see any target to the nearby radius as you can see. It's looking for a target since you can't be targeted as a player. So yeah, basically it's just gonna go fly around until it dies. Basically this command actually dies when the ridges are far enough from the commands. So as you can see, that missile won't go anywhere and it vanished instantly. So yeah, if you don't have any nearby targets, so that will happen. So this command is pretty cool if you want to troll some friends, if you want to troll your friends in your Minecraft world, you can actually do this. It's very simple to do and check this out. By now, let's go right into the command. So I'm going to show you guys the commands, okay? The command is not that long. Basically, we only have 10 command blocks for this. So if you don't know how to get your own command box, do slash give at a then put command underscore block and able to receive your own command box right in your own inventory. Alright, let's go show you guys the commands for this one, okay? So we have your offers command box which is a repeating command. So let me click this command box on and as you can see I put test for at e name called summon which actually we're gonna rename the item to drop and put it to summon. And this one if effect at the name calls meteor slow underscore falling one two five five space true and put it to train unconditional and always active and for this one we put effect at the name calls meteor and i'm gonna put invisibility on it space one space one space true chain uncontrolled and always active and this another chain command we have your execute at the name calls meteor close bracket turtle detect Till the, two till the negative one till the grass zero summon ender underscore crystal three till the minecraft crystal underscore explodes so whenever those armor stand which we summon go near the grass they're gonna summon like an explosion so if we execute that the name cause meteor three till a particle minecraft mouth flame underscore single which is the fire effects we put to our missile or for our like homing missile 
So this one is another effect. So for this time, we're gonna actually put dragon underscore destroy underscore block and space create all that. So basically, it's just the same command. As you can see, it's just a particle command. Then we put it to chain uncrucial and always active. And for this command, and for this command, we put execute at the name equals meteor triple tp three arrow zero point three facing at the name equals put your own name. So put type then exclamation item comma type equals exclamation armor underscore stand radius of 100 then c equals one then close bracket so it won't gonna target you the items and the armor stand so that's why i put the name on it so you better not copy my name and put your own name okay chain uncontrol and always active and for our last part in this command is to execute that in name equals meteor 3 to the tp 3 arrow then 0 0.5 we put it to chain uncontrol and always active so this one is for the homing or for the seeking missile we actually gonna catch up or actually gonna seek any target or any nearby target to the radius of 100 and for the last part of this command we actually have this um like resistance departor and we have this one command block which actually put execute at in name called human 3 not 2 tilde 88 tilde human armor underscore stand and meteor so this command gonna see the armor stand which actually gonna rename into meteor right to the mid air. And this one we have your resin repeater and we have your e kill at e type cost item comma name equals human close bracket. So probably it's gonna kill the item which actually gonna drop which will rename into human and it gonna see the armor stand right to the mid air to the ranges of 88 above you. And if we drop this item, as you can see, it's gonna see when your armor scan right to the radius of 88 right above you. And this missile gonna seek any targets or any nearby targets at once and instant kill, as you can see. But anyway, guys, I think that'll be it for video today. I do really hope you enjoy. And if you do like this video, always give a like and subscribe and slap the notification bell icon and always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff on my Twitter. Facebook and also my TikTok account. But now guys, thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace out. Bye bye. It's you right here and see you next time. Hey what is up there everybody? Welcome back to another YouTube video. It's Hero here and today I'm gonna show you how to get Hawkeye's power and Hawkeye's arrow here in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Right now before we start before we get right into the video you know the drills give a like this video if you do like this video also hit the subscribe button right now down below and slap that notification bell icon and always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff but now let's go right into it and let's get started all right as you can see we have here a lot of structure block and all the structure blocks has its variety of commands so it has its variety of power from hawkeye's abilities so we're gonna do this step by step and reconciling and loading all the commands from each um, structure block. And for our first structure block we have here. So the first thing we do is load the thing out. So we're gonna put the eagle underscore i which is one of the abilities. So it's not really comic accurate or movie accurate but um, this one is just some sort of add-on abilities that I put for our Hawkeye in this command block. So in this command we're actually gonna set all these um, coordinates and blocks so what we're gonna do is zero put like put this y to zero and put the x to zero and put the z to one and able to uh, reconcile or load this command and there we go so i just press load and we have here our eagle eye about this for hoka so the thing we have to do is break the structure block and of course grab a bow since the bow is one of the main weapons or actually the main weapons of hawkeye so we're gonna have to put a lever so you don't actually have to put a lever since you already put since i already put it to always active and as you can see every time i hold a bow as you can see my vision get zoomed like 10 times um, stronger and 10 times faster i mean look at this it's like holding a scopa but for me this is better than a spyglass since a spyglass has actually an outline or some sort of frame so there's actually like a disadvantage in times of a widespread vision since i mean check this uh, check the difference between the eagle eye and also the spyglass so we have here a wide like a wide vision at all and very zoom while if you try spyglass actually and um, it has some sort of outline or the frames just 
um, block things out which um, limit your vision actually. I mean, look at this. But anyhow, this power is not comic accurate nor movie accurate. But yeah, it's still pretty good if we like put like some sort of superpowers or at least an eagle eye for um, Hawkeye in this one. So we we'll just rename it into eagle eye. And yeah, so this is the first command block, which is our actually a repeating command. So let's grab your own command block and just first before I'm gonna show you the commands, let's put our tag, which actually we're gonna need to tag ourselves into Hawkeye. So tag at a name equals Hawkeye. So put your own username first and add add the main um the main tag. And there we go. And let me put a lever in this part. And click that on just once and there we go. And for our eagle eye command, so let me turn the thing up. And for our eagle eye command, we have here the ancient at day tag goes hawkeye, then close bracket and end breaking. The actual and the redstone, and we have here a rest sinking parter and under our command block, we put effect at the hawkeye slowness 3000 space 102. So this one actually gives the supervision for hawkeye, but the um, downward this one is actually give you a slowness effect. So you can see, look at this effect. It's like some sort of infinite, e infinite effects for slowness. And this one is gonna affect the um, slowness, which actually um, nullify all the effects, which clear all the effects. So we have your resting uh, torch, which is very important. Whenever you turn on or activate this one, it actually turn off the command, which uh, take all the effects so you can have the supervision. And next up, we have here another structure block here in Minecraft, and let me uh, load this thing up. So I have to press the load and put the rename load um, load blocks, which actually we rename it to grappling. So it's called grappling bow, and there we go. So we don't see it, but if I load it, there we go. Destroy. So let's just destroy the structure block for now, and we have here. The very easy command which I shall test for at the type was arrow so let me put it to always active and as you can see this power is very simple. It's just grapple you in a slow mode time so basically the ender pearl is much more better in this one but yeah let's just not like ruin the surprise or ruin the fun in this one. So this one is just like a grappling hawk but I actually put it like a slowness effect to make it a little much more realistic because I don't want it like TP some sort of like like a rip of ender pearl so just like that that's that's a perfect turn so you can actually use this as combo with the um supervision of the eagle eye and the grappling hook as you can see it's pretty cool if uh, if you want to try it in your own world and let me do it like this so you can actually side out which is very uh, like pretty cool actually like we have a very long vision and yeah i think it's time to show you the commands guys but this is actually taking a really, really long time all right for our commands here we have your test for at e type cause arrow so let me put it first to need redstone since these are repeating command all right and let me break this one and put this one so we have your test for at e type cause arrow and close bracket so this one is going to put to repeat actual and always active it depends on you if you want to put it to always active or if you want to put lever this we put a resting key parter and this one we put execute at e type cause hawkeye 3 arrow tp at s3 arrow 0.2 facing at e type cause arrow comma to uh, i mean comma c equals one close bracket okay and we put it this command for at least at least repeat actual and always active no it's actually need redstone guy i'm so sorry about that and we're gonna load the next gadget so we have here actually at least i think which one so there's actually an ice bow and auto aim and he like fire bow so first let's go to the auto aim so let me set this one since i actually put it to save put it to load and load this one up there we go so i actually messed up from the coordinates but anyhow this is actually gonna work too. and for this command i think it's pretty obvious that it's actually an auto aim since you can actually read it since i loaded from a structure black so this is like an auto aim command as you can see so let me put this one it's actually a new version so we can, we can just put like some sort of lever in this one so we, we might don't want to mess up so if we try it out you don't have to aim the enemy so you actually just auto aim so yeah basically it's like a cheat here in minecraft and yeah so you hope to do is shot an arrow so it doesn't it doesn't actually kill multiple mobs at the same arrow or the same time in one arrow so that would be pretty much more op so it's just gonna kill one mobs at a time as you can see let me shoot it like that and let me put this husk in here and shoot far away like we're off 
like very off at the aim so we can still kill it like one hit kill all right let me show you guys the commands first we have your test for at least post arrow so let me turn this one off we have your resin converter and a resin repeater so we have your three commands piled up with the chain commands we have your repeating command which is actually gonna be execute at a type close arrow close bracket three tilde tp three arrow one facing at a type exclamation mark hope i comma type because exclamation arrow comma then put the item into c equals one and this one actually get pre-executed at a type close arrow triple kill at a type close arrow i mean exclamation arrow comma c equals one so pretty much all this actually gonna make the auto aim command for any mobs nearby at least to register one though so you can actually set it so let's kill the arrow to remove the lag so yeah it's put chain functional and always active and for this command let me load it up so we can use any kind of um gadgets that we have here but let me choose the fireball for this one so let me put fireball and set the uh, coordinates up of the blocks and load it up all right so let me press to load so let me just do it like this as you can see we have here the commands so remove the structure block and as you can see we put this for the type was hard so it's already always active though and this two command blocks is the main like green of this command so let me try this one out so as you can see every time you shoot an arrow there's actually a fire came out from the arrow all right it's time to test this one out and as you can see it can literally like create fire out from the bow and destroy any structure blocks which is pretty much more op i would say that it's pretty good for trolling your friends though and in terms of mobs you don't actually need to hit them so all of today is hit them right to its foot or from a near blacks just like this and it can actually set them to fire so pretty much all this arrow is pretty annoying and like pretty risky to do in your own world so you better try it first in the flat world because this command can destroy your house not gonna lie all right it's time to show you the command so put test for at the type was arrow so we put it to repeat actual and always active okay so as you can see it actually have the same first command block for any of this part so we put redstone and repeater and put execute at the type was arrow three tilde fill two tilde one then four tilde fire zero destroy and post actual and the rest of uh, Reserve repeater in here and this part is gonna kill the arrow so we're gonna put this one into impulse uncontrol and need rest on okay all right moving on to our next command and we have your d ice flow so let me put this one to one and put the y into zero boom and there we have it so let's put it look let's, let's press the load and as you can see it's a pretty long command so we have a repeating command so you add our repeating command actually just the test for so let me set it to like always active and put this one to need redstone all right so the ice bow doesn't actually freeze any mobs but they actually give slowness effect to mobs and turn the uh, structures into ice as you can see actually like four by four blocks just the floor though the only effects into the mobs is it gives slowness effect which is actually pretty good for Hawkeye since you can actually like you can properly aim to the mobs so it only freeze the blocks underneath the mobs and gives any mobs or any target into slowness effects it's not that good and i'm actually thinking of creating like an arrow that can freeze in in mobs that would that would be like pretty much more hyperbolic since it's not comic accurate already and that would make no sense all right it's time to show you guys the command so first we have your test for at the time cause arrow repeat actual and always active and we have here a resin comparator and a resin repeater all right so in this impulse command we actually have a very long command so you can see we put slash execute at the type cause arrow three till the field till the one till the negative one till the one space till the negative one and all of that from the rest is all negative one so you put ice zero destroy which actually just gonna freeze the floor we're gonna freeze like the blocks below the target so that's actually pretty cool actually so you put here a slowness effect so we actually have 10 to true slowness effect for any target so pretty much all 
it actually gives a much more easier or steadier target to aim and we put it to impulse and crucial and need redstone and this one is we have here another impulse we actually just can kill the arrow since we don't need it so it's gonna prevent all the lags all right for our next command block here so let me set or load all the commands up So this is one of the basic commands so it actually give an explosive or a bomb detonator to the arrow which is actually pretty cool if I say so it, it's actually pretty OP you can actually just one hit kill and it has a massive widespread damage actually just like a shot yeah. so as you can see if I shot it up you don't, have, you don't actually need to um, hit your enemy so you can just be off aim so as you can see you can just shoot it out and it will create a massive explosion against the enemies. So if I spawn multiple enemies at the same time and shoot one arrow, so let's see the effects. So as, as you can see, uh, every time I hit an arrow, it actually give a big massive widespread except for that one since it actually ran out. So as you can see, you don't actually need to hit the mob, so you just have to hit it right to the ground. And this one, it actually put test for a type cause arrow, which is pretty much more obvious in this video. So if you repeat and control any rest on, Kimparter and repeater, command block which is an impulse we put execute at the type cause arrow triple simon inter underscore crystal to the minecraft crystal underscore explode to make the simon inter crystal to explode so in this impulse command just gonna kill the uh, arrow which is pretty much more obvious just like i said and this one is actually a pretty cool command and this one is one of the basic command which is our last command so we actually put lightning underscore bow so that is our last um last um the last item or the last weapon that hawk i have so pretty much all as you can see okay hawk i doesn't actually have any lightning bow since that would be like thor but hawk i does have like some sort of electric arrow or some sort of like taser arrows as you can see from the movie of ancient ultra if you didn't notice in the movie he actually tranquilized or i mean tranquilized he actually tased like wonder using his um using his like facing bow with some like came out some sort of electric so this one we don't actually have some sort of electric here in minecraft since we only have the lightning bolt so we'll just have to um keep ourselves for lightning bolt for now since look at this it's actually epic like op command you can create fire just like fire arrow and create a massive ex explosion at the same time so like combination of the explosive arrow and the fire arrow. So if you wanna try it, you can actually try this um all the commands at the same time. That I wouldn't recommend it since it can cause a lag. So I don't actually have the ability or the knowledge to create like a switching arrow commands for now. So I'm actually testing out using the structure blocks where which you can actually like switch switch weapon. And this one is actually uh, pretty obvious in this command so we put test for at the type was arrow and the parter and repeater with a take full take command delay in here and we have an impulse command so we put execute at the type was arrow triple execute at e to register three tag exclamation hawkeye so you'll get hit by the lightning triple the lightning underscore bolt as you can see we already tag ourselves into hawkeye so we don't get hit by the lightning and this one is pretty much more obvious which actually kill at the type was arrow so pretty much all that would be it for a video and I think it's pretty easy to do and most of the arrows and abilities actually doesn't like Hawkeye doesn't possess it especially the eagle eye and the lightning bow so you do have some grapple hook or some sort of you know, like grappling command <laughs> like grappling arrow and explosive arrow and fire arrows and tasing arrows but I don't know about the freezing arrow though and he obviously doesn't have the eagle eye power but anyway guys, I think that'll be it for me today. I do really hope you enjoy our video and if you do like this video, of course, always give a like this video and hit the subscribe button and slap the notification bell icon always be notified every time we upload such video and stuff. You can follow me at my Facebook page, at my uh, TikTok account and also my Twitter. But anyway guys, thank you for watching. Love you all. Peace out. Bye bye. 
and if you wanted to meet another marvel or like dc like dc heroes you can actually just uh comment to the section down below which man or which series should i do next but guys thank you for watching love you all peace out bye bye and see you next time